Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to understand your profit and loss statement. So the ultimate goal of everything uh, that you or I do for clients in the QuickBooks is, uh, you know, all of this stuff that we're recording, all this, you know, money coming in, money going out. The whole purpose of all this is to boil all that down into easy to read statements. Okay. So a profit and loss statement, a balance sheet, etc. So in this video, what I want to do is walk through the profit and loss statement in QuickBooks online to show you how to look at it, how to, how to understand it, uh, to help guide your business. Okay. So here we are on the dashboard screen and we're going to go over two reports right here. All right, so you're going to see you've got all your options here and the favorites, uh, you know, we have set up, we've checked the star off for profit and loss, but of course you can go to business overview if you don't have it set up as a, uh, a favorite report and just choose profit and loss. You've got a, a couple of different options here for profit and loss, but the, you know, the basic one, just choose profit and loss. Okay. So when you pull this up in uh, QuickBooks Online, you're going to notice a couple things up here. First of all, it's going to default uh, typically to this year to date. Okay. Now, if you close your books every month, you know, so you close it through the end of the month and you reconcile your, your checking account, your credit card, you're going to want to change this to the previous month. Okay. So we'll say through 731. You can, and you can change this date. Okay. So if you're looking at one month, if you're looking at, uh, you know, multiple months, but I want to show you how to set this up to look at this, to really understand. All right. Right now we're going to do total only and all active rows, active columns. That's fine. You can compare it to another period. Okay. So if I say previous year, because I want to see how we're doing compared to previous year, and then cash or accrual. Now this is uh, probably a topic for an, an entire other video, but accrual basis basically just means, uh, you know, in general that if you send out an invoice, that's considered income, even if you haven't collected it. And if you get a bill for an expense that you enter in QuickBooks, that's an expense before you pay it. Cash is, is basically opposite. That means that revenue is only what you collect, any money you bring in and expenses is anything you pay out. Okay. In general, accrual is going to be uh, a little bit more realistic way to look at your profit and loss statement. Okay. So I'm going to run this report, show you what this looks like. Now, what I like to do, you see these arrows here, uh, you can collapse these to make it a little bit easier to read. Okay. So, you know, you may not need all this detail, job materials, legal, professional maintenance and repair. Okay. So you can collapse only certain ones with these arrows, or you can expand them, uh, or you can go up here and click collapse. Okay. And it's going to collapse everything. All right. This makes it a little bit easier to read. Now what I like to do, so there wasn't any data in here for 2018. Maybe this is a new business. Okay. So, so you can look at all these numbers and say, okay, well, here's how I did. All right. Now what I prefer to do, there's two things that I like to do on a profit and loss statement. Okay. The first thing is I'm going to take off this previous year because there's no information, but I am going to check percent of income. Okay. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now, the other thing that I like to do is I like to display by the months. All right. This is generally going to be a better way to look at this. Okay. So I'm going to click run report. So we're still collapsed. So we can expand this if we want to. And you know, QuickBooks online, I'm not a big fan of how they lay this out because it's a lot of information and it can be a little bit confusing. Oftentimes I might export it to Excel so I can look at it a little bit better or even take off this percent comparison, run the report. So now we're just seeing the numbers. All right. So what I like to do is look at the trending numbers by month. Okay. So, uh, this one doesn't have a ton of data in this sample file, but you can see, okay, the income, you know, in this one's a little bit low, but you know, when you're looking at your business and you say, okay, uh, you know, revenue is going up. That's a good thing. July really shot up. Okay. You can start to look at your cost to get sold. All right. There was none reported here, which seems maybe a little bit odd. 
okay, for this type of company. And then you've got all your expenses. So you can start to compare month to month and, and see if something looks out of whack. All right. So you want to maybe investigate that. So when you have the report here, you see the arrow or the, the cursor, I can click on this and go to the detail. All right. And see what it was. And I can even click through to the actual bill or expense. All right. If you want to go back, you're going to click on back to report summary. All right. So you, this allows you to start to look at your business more on a trending basis to see how you did each and every month. You know, there might be some anomaly in one month with an expense or revenue uh, that uh, you need to investigate a little bit further. Okay. Now, if I go back and I add in the percentages, all right, let's go here uh, and I say percent of income. All right. Again, this makes the report look a little bit uh, overwhelming, uh, but what I like to look at is my gross profit. All right. Again, this sample file doesn't have a ton of information, but if you have cost of goods sold, start to look at the gross profit. You know, does the percentage stay consistent? Uh, does it uh, fluctuate quite a bit? Uh, you know, you really want to make sure to see what kind of gross profit you're getting. And then you want to look down at the net margin. That's what this is down here is how much money are you keeping after all your expenses? Okay. So for every, so in this example right here, 21.67%, you can say for every dollar that I bring in from a customer, I'm keeping 21.67 cents. All right. Is that good? Is that bad? It just depends on your business. All right. So you can really start to see if expenses are getting out of control and make some adjustments in your business if you need to. All right. One other thing I want to go to. All right. So I'm going to actually take this. I'm going to put it to total and we're going to say run. All right. So now you can see where I just have the totals and the percentages. Okay. So you can look at margins and if you have multiple years of information, you can put this date range to multiple years and display the columns by year. So you can see how your business is doing year over year over year. All right. Now up here, I'm going to show you this last thing here. You can go to customize and you can do a number of things. So here you can change the date just like you can over here. Accounting method. You can do the number format. All right. So you can say without cents uh, because you generally don't need the cents. If you want to show negative numbers in red, you can do that. All right. Rows and columns. All right. This uh, generally is this display columns by. Uh, you can compare periods over here. So a number of things are the same, but you can also filter the information. All right. So it's including all accounts and all transactions, but of course you can filter it by a customer product or service, et cetera. And then the header footer down here. All right. You've got some basic things that you can change, uh, you know, whether you want it printed on the report or not. Okay. So you can check or uncheck these. All right. So what you're going to do then is just click run report. Okay, so now you can see that those changes took effect. So there's no sense and it's red for negative numbers. Okay, so there's a little bit of customization you can do here and then you can save this customization. So if you customize a report the way you want to see it, you can save the customization and then you can always come back to it later without having to redo all the customization. All right. So these are the basics of the profit and loss and how to understand it, how to read it. It's something it's a habit you really want to get into in your business just to make sure that you're understanding, you know, where the money's coming from, where it's going, how much money you're making, how much money you're losing so that you can start to really uh, understand your business, but also uh, start to make some projections and start to make it grow. All right. Any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. You know, this right here is what it's all about for me is helping business owners understand QuickBooks to get the information in there so that they can understand their financial statements and ultimately grow their business. Head over there now, become a member. Uh, you definitely uh, will love the program and the support that you're going to get. The website is qbuniversity.org.